guys. All right, y'all have seen me catch a couple of congrios out here today. So I want to do a little, uh, a little how-to on what I'm doing, what my technique is. Guys ask me for this sometimes, so here you go. I'm out here in 350 feet. I've got a Mustad Staggerbot jig. Uh, first of all, I got to make sure I get over my bait, which I am. And I'm going to drop this jig all the way to the bottom. I'll turn the camera off a minute, but when it gets down there, I'll show you what my jigging technique is for these fish. Worth noting too, I've got all kinds of jigs I fish for these fish. I really like these little Mustad stagger bods. It's a real compact jig, but still heavy enough to get down when the current's not bad. And it's worth mentioning that I actually broke the the, the existing uh, world record for cone reel out here last month with this. I'm submitting I'm in the process of submitting it right now to the IGFA. We're all the way on the bottom, 350 feet. Uh, we're looking for a big old grouper or a big old congrio. Whatever we're looking for, it's big. We're always looking for the big one. But I'm going to fish this 200 gram jig. There's not much current today. It's a really beautiful conditions. So I dropped this smaller jig down. And I'm going to show you my technique. It's not much of a technique. It's really simple what you do with these things for these bottom fish. You want to drop your jig all the way down. And the real key here is get that jig on the bottom, like literally sitting on the bottom. And every time you jig up, you don't need to come very high. You just need, you need that thing to go down and hit the bottom and sit on the bottom. And then you're lifting, you want to pop it a foot off the bottom and it swims back down into the bottom. And what that does, these guys are down here and 350 feet and they're foraging on the bottom. They're uh, looking for bait and little small bait fish, little, little margaritas they'll eat, a, a damsel bass. So, but they're down there just sniffing around like a hog rooting around on the bottom. So if you're up 10, 12 feet off the bottom, you might get bit, but you have a lot better odds if you're on the actual bottom. So what happens too, oh, there's dinner in there, you hear that? What happens is if you'll keep that thing to where it's actually touching the bottom each time it drops. A couple things happen. One, you're clearly you're as close to the bottom as you, you can get because you're on it. You're in the feeding zone. But also, when that jig hits the bottom, it first of all it dispels like sand and dirt and you know debris, which creates interest in the fish around. It looks like a little bait fish, you know, clouding up the water. But it also creates a sonic vibration from actually tapping the bottom that will attract the fish. And, I'm, and there he is. And there he is. That's how it works. That's a good fish. That's a decent fish anyway. I don't know if it's good, but it ain't bad. <laughs> That's how it works. Now see, well, I had that jig on the bottom and I mean, I was barely lifting it three inches off, three, four inches off the bottom, bouncing it. Oh, and he, he dropped it. Gosh dang. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Ah! Mm -mm -mm. It happens, it happens. Okay, there's more. Where there's one, there's more. Ah, that sucks though. <laughs> that sucks. Sometimes I'll drop it and let it sit on the bottom and just barely lift it off of there. That's how they're eating. The higher I lift it, the less bites I get. I do better on these fish, just kind of popping it off the bottom. God, that was a good fish, man. Mm. I got a couple of 10 pound congrio in here. That was a bigger fish though. And the trick too, you want to stay completely vertical on this uh, jig. That's when you pop it up, you don't want it shooting sideways and whatever. You want that thing swimming straight up at you. No, 
they'll hit it going sideways and dart to the side. They'll certainly hit that, but I have my best results with a purely vertical action. So sometimes I'll let it hit the bottom. It's on the bottom right now. I'll let it sit there for a couple of seconds. The fish comes and checks it out. They're eyeing it, and the moment it swims up, bam, they nail it. Mm, can't believe I lost that fish. I see it. See how he ate it off the bottom? Mm, ate it right off the bottom. I mean, an inch off the bottom the second I pulled up on it. See what I'm talking about, boys? Bottom jigging. That's what I love about jigging. You know, it's a very technique intensive style of fishing. You know, you come out here and fish the wrong presentation, the wrong technique, and you won't get bit. So, you, you know, my best advice to you is, yeah, come out here, try your bottom spot, try what I'm showing you with this particular technique. But if this doesn't work, try 17 other techniques. Try long strokes, try, you know, little double pumps, try, you know, bring it up in the water, come try everything. But right now, and typically for these bottom foragers on this spot, this is what they eat. Throw this air in your quiver and give it a shot. That's a small guy, but could be another congrio, huh? By golly, it is. It's another congrio. How beautiful. What an amazing day. How are these guys ever good eating? Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful. Well, I gotta go to the house soon. That's about all I can eat. But you get the idea. I might stick around and try and get one more big one. But hope that helps. Over now, guys.